How's it going Disney fans? Cody here with Disney Adventures here at Magic Kingdom to show you guys all the new 50th anniversary merch. Whoops, I can speak English. I'm not going to try again. This shot took forever to get. Let's go ahead and get in the park and uh, show you this merch. Now before we do a full deep dive on all of the 50th anniversary merch, I do want to point out some updated decor that is out for the 50th anniversary at Magic Kingdom. I do have a full playlist of all the 50th anniversary decorations that are out at the parks out here uh, that you can find a link down below. But let's talk about what they've done to the castle. Now, the big update is they added these banners to the outer towers of the castle. And these banners are telling the story of Cinderella. You can see little pictures of key moments from the tale of Cinderella on these banners. I'll let you guys kind of decide if you like how these banners look. Honestly, I think they're filling a blank canvas and look pretty good. It's fun to see Cinderella's story being told in this picture format just right outside of her castle. And once again, I think it just adds something. And then if you look at the towers closest to the castle itself, you'll see these 50th banners, which I'm not the biggest fan of. They have like a vine-like pattern and then a big 50. Those ones I think look a little tacky. And then you have these banner poles that look pretty good that have that vine pattern. And honestly, they're some nice little updates. Let me know what you guys think though. Okay, so that concludes the 50th decorations that have gone up since my last videos. Once again, check out that playlist if you're interested in all the 50th anniversary decorations. Um, but let's move on to the merchandise now, uh, which is going to cover up the rest of the video. So if you aren't interested in the merchandise, you guys can click away now. I'm not going to get upset. Uh, but yeah, the main street is now all Cinderella themed, so that's cool. Hi! <laughs> Okay, let's go through the Emporium, find that 50th anniversary merch. You know what's left from uh, what the scalpers have taken. So when you first enter the shop, you're going to be greeted with a bunch of the 50th merch on display. You have to forgive the audio and the walkthrough because it's really crowded in here, really congested and really loud. But first item that we have when you walk in is a little hand soap dispenser. It dispenses the soap in a Mickey foam shape, which is pretty cool. I wonder how accurate that actually is. But uh, for $15, I don't feel like figuring that out because uh, I like our little dollar soap dispensers that we got from Ikea. And then if we come over here, you can see the big 50 display. And then you have the lounge fly backpacks, which actually look really good. I've never been a fan of lounge fly backpacks just because they haven't been practical. But does this look a little thicker or is it, it? Yeah, it looks wider. Yeah, it looks thicker than the typical lounge fly backpack actually. Did they add a, a third compartment? Yeah, they did. Oh my God, look at that. And this starts at $75. Oh my God. <laughs> so I feel like that's a price jump from old lounge fly bags by like 15 bucks. Yeah, about. Yeah, that's crazy. But it, it's a little bit bigger, so it seems a little more practical. And then you have the dolls and stuff. Those are in the back of the store, and we'll show you guys those in a second. But let's come over here. So we're gonna focus on this wall. We're trying to navigate all the people. So here we have the new mini ears. Um, let's see if I can find the price. Uh, no price, so I guess if you can get out quick enough, they're yours. Um, I'm guessing these are probably about 40. What what do you think? I would say about 40, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't like them that much. I like the Epcot ears a lot more um, versus these. I feel like these are kind of unoriginal. They're just cheap bedazzled ears. It looked like Disneyland 60th ears, like with just different colors. Yeah. Repurposed Disneyland 60th ears. Yep. Because they couldn't sell enough for that event. Yep. <laughs> And then just below it, we have this little mini bow tie, which is kind of cute. Um, is this a hair bow tie? Yeah. It lights up. Where are the lights? Um, it says light up accessory. Press here. Oh, look at yeah. that. <laughs> that's cute. That's, that's kind of cute. I, I, I'll give it that one for 
17 bucks, actually. That is not as expensive That's as I would have That's an easy way to keep track of your kid. <laughs> Unless every kid has one, then yeah, you then got a little bit problem, of a problem. Yeah. So let's actually, we're gonna come this way away from the crowd because there is something pretty cool over here. So then they have this like replica castle that looks really nice. It has Dumbo in the background. It has the characters in their 50th anniversary uh, outfits. And then you got your teacups back there. It's pretty cool. I don't know how much this is. Expensive. Probably. Can I see the price? Yep, it was right. $125. Okay, so about what I was expecting, but at Disney prices, I would have expected like them to add 50 bucks to that. <laughs> so over here, we have... What princess is this? Is this a... Minnie Mouse. It's Minnie Mouse? Okay. A hundred dollars. Is that, is that normal for dress, dress prices? It's about ten dollars more. Okay. Honestly, I don't like these colors, but then again, I'm not the, the, the target demographic, I don't you think. You mean you can't wear this size 12 over here? No, that's a, that's a size 3. This is a size 12. Oh, okay. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can make it to the other side of the store because it's a little chaotic right now. Um, so you can go ahead and show them. There, there's just a lot of people here right now. So it's going to be super difficult to do this walkthrough compared to the creation store video. Um, okay, we got a little clearing over here. We have some of the new 50th fanny packs for $30. Honestly, Chelsea's a fan of the fanny packs. But, I am a uh, fan of the knee pack. I don't know, would you wear this fanny pack? Um, I do like this logo, how the monorails, the D, and it's got like different Disney things in there incorporated. That's pretty cool. You go ahead. Once again, we're navigating a lot of people. This is literally the first day this merch went live. So then, just below it, we have that same logo on a t-shirt. And I actually like this logo on the t-shirt. I do like these little details that they have, like the monorail looping the castle and stuff. Okay, then on the opposite wall of that merch, we have our other pair of 50th ears. So you guys can kind of see them. I like these a little more. I like this 50th design that you're going to see on a lot of their merchandise. And then it's by Loungefly right there. And then this one's $40. It's a little more original than these ears, honestly, in my opinion. And then here's something I would rock, but it looks like a cast member uniform, doesn't it? It does. It like, looks like a Tomorrowland uniform. Yeah, it definitely looks like it belongs on a cast member, but I like this button up. It's very much looking more like a small world than the 50th to me. Yeah. Uh, the artwork just looks like a small world. It's very but then you got the Walt Disney World and stuff. It's a lot. It's yeah, got a it, lot going on. It's a lot. A little too much for me. Okay, then to the side we have a polo. Once again, this also looks like a, like a worker's uniform. Like this feels like... It's what managers would uniform. wear. Yeah, like a manager would wear this, right? Yeah. And for $60, oh man. What a steal. Yeah, stealing money right out of your wallet. <laughs> and then over here we got some ears, which are, oh my god. Are these free? Look at that, there's no price on them. Free 99. Free 99. I don't know, probably expensive. I find it, I find it weird that they don't have the price on some of their merchandise here. I think so they can change it as uh, popularity grows or lessens. That makes sense. So yeah, you can see. It looks okay. I don't like it. Down below, we have a hoodie. I'm going to pull this out for you guys. It's got like a zip up. Ooh. Little, I don't know what this is. Is this a pocket? It's a, it's a pouch. Yeah, it's, it's like a It's to put your doggy pouch. in. Oh, it's or actually. your cat. So you have this separate pocket, and then this zip pocket is like a separate one too. Oh my god. I can I get that and like put that. Thor in it. Yeah. <laughs> We definitely could. I don't think we'd get them into the park. And then the back design. Any any guess on price, Chelsea? I'm guessing like a hundred bucks. I say sixty-five. You're guessing sixty? Five. Sixty. Oh dang. Should have let me change your bet. Should have. <laughs> okay, let's see. I think we're gonna try and squeeze by over here. Let's see. You can show them just what we're trying to fight through. It is a nightmare over here. This is... Just another Monday. Merch again. Thank you. I 
again? Yep. Okay. Uh, we cannot do that inside. We filmed the merchandise, but we're not going to be able to record it in there. It's just too chaotic. So we'll talk to you guys at the park about the new merchandise because there's a lot of it. So it's a lot busier than it was this morning coming back trying to film these talking shots walking through the store. So let's just go over some of the stuff we missed. So they have new 50th anniversary Crocs, which look pretty good. It's the same design with the characters and their new 50th outfits, and it looks good. Honestly, they don't have prices on a lot of this stuff, so I couldn't see if they're charging more, but traditionally you're looking at almost $40 for these Disney themed Crocs. And I have a pair, I love it. I'm in Florida. I feel like you need a pair of Crocs if you're living in Florida. So I think that's decently priced. And then if you go and you look through some of the hats and stuff like that, I don't really, I'm a big fan of hats, especially in sunny Florida. And I wasn't super thrilled by the hat choices that they had. A lot of youth hats that just, once again, just character stamped all over it. So I wasn't feeling that. Um, and then if you look at some of the magic bands that came out, they look good. I do like the new magic bands. Um, but once again, I don't see the reason for them marketing the magic bands right now. Um, we still don't even know how they're going to implement with Genie Plus and the new Lightning Lanes. So I'm hoping those will interact with the Lightning Lane and stuff like that. It should, but once again, I don't know if I'd buy a Magic Band right now. And I'm trying to think what other merchandise. They had some pajamas that looked super comfortable. Didn't see the price on that either. That sucks. Uh, we'll have it link, or we'll, we'll have it pop up on the screen somewhere, right? Um, the pajamas do look super comfortable. Um, instead of me just trying to name off this merchandise, wouldn't you guys rather just look at it? I think we'll just do that. Let's cut to that. <laughs> So hopefully you guys enjoyed this merchandise walkthrough video and some of the updates to the decor. Um, if you guys found this video fun or enjoyable, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you guys enjoy this content and you like what I'm trying to do here in making cinematic Disney YouTube content, consider hitting that subscribe button. But that's it for this video. We'll see you guys in the next one.